As I mentioned in my previous video, there are plenty of companies who see the attraction of having a presence in Park City, and Hewitt Packard Enterprise are one of the stalwarts of the festival. 2016 is their 14th year as a partner with the Institute. So I caught up with Maggie Connor, Senior Director of the company, to talk about the festival and their involvement at Sundance, as well as many other major sporting and entertainment events around the globe. Thanks for joining me, Maggie. Thank you. Perfect. So to start off, can you tell us a bit about Hewitt Packard Enterprise and their relationship with Sundance and what they're doing here? Yeah, absolutely. This is our 14th year as a presenting sponsor of the Sundance Film Festival. We're very excited to be here as a legacy sponsor. Um, we've always had a pretty big role in powering the festival and with the separation of the two companies and our strong focus on enterprise solutions, we are here this year um, to, to help power the festival with strong Wi-Fi in a city that otherwise is a little bit difficult to stay connected in. Yep. It's Park City is surrounded by mountains, so we brought an Aruba Networks under the Hewlett Packard Enterprise Networking Group in, and they provided indoor and outdoor access points to make this a uh, really connected festival and to keep people in the theaters able to buy tickets at the very last minute and be on the e-wait list and to be able to uh, get into hard to get into films and it seems to be working extremely well. Brilliant, yeah, absolutely. And you mentioned you've been here for 14 years 14 now. Years. What makes this festival so special that Hewitt Packard Enterprises keep wanting to come back? We love great storytelling. It's important to us, and um, that's what we're celebrating here at the Sundance Festival with the Institute. We also uh, really love to be able to have an authentic role with the festival and to be able to help them power a seamless and easy experience both for the Sundance Institute and everyone who is putting on great work, but also for the film uh, makers and for the festival goers, so that everyone can enjoy connectivity and be able to produce great stories. Um, but even more than that, we bring customers out. Our best customers are here to enjoy the festival, to enjoy the city, and to meet with our top executives to learn about the new Hewlett Packard Enterprise Company, our new corporate strategy, who we are and how we can help them. So it's a it's a great place to invite people to have fun, but also learn a great deal from us. Yeah, of course. And um, through all of that time you've been involved with the festival, what changes have you seen? And what do you think is, as you work especially in sponsorship, what do you think the future sort of holds with Sundance and um, various companies sort of joining the, the Institute, if you will? Yeah, um, well, the Sundance is getting, the festival is getting increasingly digital. And uh, that's something that we are helping to drive and want to help power. And also I've seen from a marketing perspective that the sponsorship is getting more and more authentic. You have Amazon and Netflix in town and they'll actually be purchasing films. You have Airbnb who is providing a great deal of the housing and uh, also has a footprint to, to expose what they're trying to do and grow uh, to anybody who's, who's a festival goer. And so it seems to me like the, the richness and the authenticity in sponsorship grows over time. And what Sundance Institute is able to do is to be very selective. They keep a small footprint and their sponsors tend to come back year after year. Yeah, absolutely. You mentioned you obviously big presence at Sundance. Can you tell us a bit about Hewitt Packard Enterprises, um, other events in their calendar throughout the year? I know you're involved a bit in sport as well. We're going to roll immediately from Sundance Film Festival into Super Bowl. Wow, okay. We're excited to be there because it's in our backyard and Hewlett Packard Enterprise, as a, a founding member of Silicon Valley, really wants to see this, this amazing event happen in our backyard and um, to celebrate it, to celebrate it with our best customers again. So another, another customer opportunity and business meeting opportunity for us. And then we have a really exciting new relationship with Virgin Racing and Formula E. So we are going to be joining them on the circuit of a handful of races to, again, um, show how our capabilities and solutions can power the kind of disruptive um, and, and uh, innovative um, things that, that Virgin Racing will represent. And uh, again, show our customers a really great time. Yeah, brilliant. And you, you mentioned your customers, and uh, I'm very excited. Um, this weekend, hopefully, doing a few of the activities um, alongside them. I was wondering if you could tell me a bit about your relationship with GMR and how you work together to put this program throughout yes, the week. Yes, isn't that a perfect segue? Because what I'm able to do uh, working with GMR Marketing um, is not focus on what I've been mentioning, which is the customer <laughs> fund, because they take care of all of our hosting and experiential elements to the point where there is no stone unturned, everything is executed perfectly. We count on them to be 
our strategic agency to help us select the relationships that are, um, are right for us and help showcase our solutions the best, but we also count on them for better than average execution. So um, what, it, what it frees me up to, to do things like work with the Sundance Institute on getting Wi-Fi in place in Park City. Brilliant. Well, thanks very much for your time. That's uh, fantastic. And good luck with the rest of the week and the course. Super. Thank you.